Just follow the fly, fly, fly. That's not the update. And it oh, hang on, a bit of banking helps. And I have now got, that is ridiculous. Zero, come on. Back break. Here we go. This first one's a doozy. There he is. I've only got one break. We got us a man down. <laughs> Bring your own oars. That's what they say. Imagine operating that. Be kind to me, Sand. I'm limping. What are we doing here? No. <laughs> this could be fun. Yes. This is not a track for cyclocross bikes. I'm in my 50s for God's sake. Definitely prefer left handers. Well, we seem to have discovered the Ipswich BMX track and we seem to have just done it on cross bikes <laughs> and gravel bikes, fully loaded somehow. <laughs> I think we might have to do that again. Well, I'm going again. <laughs> <laughs> he wants another go, I want another go. Just a bit worried about that right under. <laughs> it's not, it's not my favourite side. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second go. First one's a doozy. You alright mate? <laughs> Can't do it himself. Ooh, it's a bit of a jump. Alright, left handers. High up on the bank. Coming down. Steep into this one. Across the tabletop. Down the steep other side. Here's my right hander. I'm terrible at it. Oh hang on, a bit of banking helps. Now over the quick jumps. Probably a proper turn for those. Going a bit quicker this time. Up and over. Come on. Left hander. Excellent. Pedaling round it. Bit of pace. No pedaling on these. Over the tabletop. And down. Back up to the top. <laughs> Here we go. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> what an unexpected bonus right here in Ipswich. <laughs> Thank you, Ipswich gravel track. BMX track even. <laughs> there you go. Up the Ipswich. Ipswich town. Back over there. Still checking. This is called the Ipswich Wiggle. And it's all about getting the hell out of town. Leighton Road. I used to live on Leighton Road. You sure this is right? Is that we're just going back where we came from. Do you ever get that feeling where, where you went to Ipswich, you never leave Ipswich? <laughs> you just couldn't get off. What you're saying is Ipswich is basically a Dutch campsite in the woods <laughs> that you can't leave. <laughs> right, update. Just follow the fly. That's not the update. Right, sit rep. We are 12 k's into a weekend ride. And I have just found out that my back brake has just given up. I've lost all fluid, there's nothing there. So I'm on a front brake only mission today and tomorrow and for however long it takes to get it fixed. Uh, I was afraid it was gonna happen. It could have been on the cards because it's been playing up a bit, but I was hoping to get away with it this weekend. Seems it's not the case. So, has added an extra element of interest to this weekend away. Let's hope it works out. But this is nice. The proper ancient woodland. Down one of the area steep hills. On a front brake only. Pull it.
On this episode, we've come out here to the countryside for another episode of Scuzzy Escapes. And this time, we've come to the rural area of East Anglia. We started at Ipswich, and we're heading on around the coast a bit. On our way now to Felixstowe, the port town. And from there, we move on to something else. This is a nice little section. We're right by the coast. There it is. Oh, let's have a look at that now. The trouble is, I can't stop quickly. I've only got one brake. <laughs> right, I have to brake suddenly with my front brake only, it's all over. So let's try not to do that. Thank you. Well done, good boy. Are you the slow one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be Felix Stowe over there. To get up close to those things, but I don't suppose that's going to be an option. It's very interesting out here. Nice bit of gravel, come sandy, come grassy track. Hold on. So in front of us there, we'll have the port of Felix Stowe, I think is what you call it. Felix Stowe docks, maybe. And I can see it's completely stacked up with containers there. Five, six, seven, eight high, maybe. And some dead trees just for atmosphere. How cool is this? I guess if you're a twitcher or an ornithologist or a birdie type, this is the place. Bird watchers paradise, I would guess. I think this is the River Orwell. I've got it right. And there we can see all the sailing boats. People having fun on the water, if you like that sort of thing. This is called Trimley Marshes. You can see the marshes all out there to my left. It's quite hard to point. <laughs> I need both hands on this one. And to the right, the River Orwell. And if any of you know the smell of seaweed and what it smells like, it's very distinctive. I'm from the coast and I know it well. And it's really strong right here. And it's not a bad smell. It's just one that you've, if you've never smelled it before, like this with this onshore breeze blowing it straight onto my nose. It's very distinct. I guess it reminds me of home. We got us a man down! <laughs> Fooled by the, the long grass. Thought it was going to be the easy option. It gets soft, doesn't it? That's what it is, it's super soft down here. Probably dug your nose in. <laughs> Come to the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> have fun on the probably a dike, isn't it? This have a crack. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. That's great. Let's get there. Never ride blind. That's right. Whoa! Look at this. This is epic. Man, this is so cool. I love it when you see the ingenuity of man. And this absolute mega constructions they do. This is impressive stuff. This place. TV cameras, yes, we know that. Whoa! Welcome to Containerville. <laughs> you look surprised. Wow. Yeah, okay, I'm impressed. It's true. You can tell, can't you? <laughs> I would love to drive one of these things. Imagine operating that. Tonga toy operator, that's my job. Nothing says gravel track more than this one I'm on right now. This is just about perfect. This is what gravel looks like. And this ride, it makes up part of the Wolf Way. And the Wolf Way is a recent ride derived by two people, Chris and Sharon, as a couple, over the course of about a year. Now the ride, the ride is 248 miles long or about 400 kilometers, taking in all the best sights and sounds, and all the history of East Anglia, from Vikings to historic sites, myths and legends, all those sorts of things. It takes in places like Ipswich, Bury St Edmunds, perfect villages like Lavenham. Lavenham is one of the best preserved medieval villages in the UK. Some say the best. So good, in fact, that scenes from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows were filmed there. And that's the sort of thing you can expect to find on the Wolf Way, right around East Anglia. Yeah, put the dogs on a lead. Now what do we do? Through here.
Well planted, son, well planted. Farm inspection done. <laughs> Remember, I've got no back brake on this one. Front brake's gonna have to do all the work on this trip. Well, I'll do all the work. Front brake will have to do all the stopping. Sweet peas. Come on, guess the crop. The countryside pursuit of the youth. This is what you get out here in Suffolk. Beautiful country bubs. Beautiful classic cars. Welcome to the Suffolk countryside. Well, looky here. What do we got? What a spectacular spot we've got here. Look at this, you've got a pub. Beautiful gardens, beautiful views overlooking the water. Bit of a beach. So look what can happen if you go exploring the English countryside. Here in Suffolk, you can find places like this with beautiful pubs overlooking the water. People and families relaxing on a Saturday afternoon, having a lovely time. Sailboats bobbing around, fishing boats. What a spot. All you've got to do is go out there and get lost. Easy on the oars. <laughs> no worries. That's what they say. Bring your own oars. <laughs> Look after your broom. Is there anything else to that saying, Trig? No, that's it. They just say, look after your broom. Oh, yeah. Dale, remember that one? <laughs> Here's the sand on Sandy Lane. Be kind to me, sand. I'm limping. I can live with that. Just pulled over here at this little stop to stock up for a bit of supplies for tonight because tonight we won't be sleeping on a bed tonight will be an interesting evening which i will tell you about on the way just had a nice glamorous lunch stop here at the servicing mot's tires and batteries and exhaust spot this is how we do it on the road when you're out in scuzzy londoning or scuzzy escaping in this case Oh yeah. 